Yesterday, he chose the first anniversary, of course, of the October the 7th terror attack in Israel to launch um, a, a, an attention-seeking nonsense about what they like to call two-tier policing. You'd think that Farage would have learnt the dangers of casting aspersions upon policing in this country, given what happened last time he did so, but apparently not. So claiming that there is some sort of mystery about the lack of prosecution of two men involved in a, an incident with police that has been broadcast on CCTV video. I told you some time ago that quite a few people had asked me about this, and so I'd done what I always do in such situations and asked an expert. I asked on this occasion a, a very well-known criminal, I beg your pardon, a very experienced criminal barrister to tell us what was going on, and he said that the, the file would almost certainly have been handed to the CPS. The police would have concluded their investigation. It's very complicated, not least because there's also some CCT footage, CCTV footage that appears to show a police officer attacking one of the men involved um, in the incident, and no charges had been brought, quite possibly, because there'll be a, a police investigation into the actions of the police as well. So there's absolutely no mystery here. However, I came this morning to I came across some coverage which uh, completely missed out the following statement from Greater Manchester Police. Um, we have uh, passed a file to the Crown Prosecution Service in mid-August. So the CPS is now. So someone is popping up attacking the police for not having brought charges against someone, which is not a decision that the police make. And the file was given to the Crown Prosecution Service in mid-August. They added, we've avoided providing ongoing commentary on the case, including releasing footage, to ensure that justice can be served without the risk of prejudicing proceedings. Now, that paragraph is, should be in all the news coverage. Indeed, it was in all the news coverage um, at midnight last night. All of it. And yet, quite extraordinary to um, come across people pretending either that that wasn't included in all the news coverage or that it was something that you might be unaware of. So Nigel Farage doing what Nigel Farage always does. So that's one example of the antidote. So the rest of the media presents a story in a disingenuous or even dishonest way. And we come with the truth. We come with the facts. What are we going to call this feature?